Hey everyone. So this video is going to be about the changes in the syllabus of the O Level Chemistry 5070 and also about the changes in the paper pattern because you should know that the paper pattern has changed for the examination of 2023. So we're going to be talking more about that as well. So let's 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 begin. So you you're going to see the um, syllabus in front of your screens and you're going to be seeing the cover page and stuff and we're going to be talking about the most important stuff right now because because um, we need to find how we can navigate our way through you know achieving a grade which is you know acceptable for us um, let's let's begin you can see um, some some important stuff over here out here which is assessment objectives that is something that we call AO so AO1 AO2 AO3 now what is AO1 and AO2 these are the assessment objectives so these there are three assessment objectives the first two are assessed in paper 1 and paper 2 and the later one the assessment objective 3 is assessed in paper 4 which is ATP or again practical examination if a certain candidate goes for that so when we talk about that assessment objective one and two are more knowledge based or understanding based so assessment objective one you can see right right over here it's more about the key terms the definitions the understanding of a chemical phenomena where it's being applied uh, where, where it's being applied uh, it's also about how a certain phenomena is different from other chemical processes so it's more about understanding it's it's not much of your own reason it's it's just um, the key terms the formula the equations the graph uh, graphical analysis diagrammatic analysis this is what's happening over here but when we talk about assessment objective number two which has a major impact on paper two it is more about the application of your knowledge so it's going to be about a certain process happening and you need to assess um, you need to evaluate what's happening over here you need to suggest the reasons out here you need to predict um, you know what could be uh, a certain outcome you're going to predict the trend whether there's a positive correlation or a negative correlation so it's all about your reason it's all about how good of a rationale you can apply for a certain process assessment objective number three is mainly about your practical skills it's about investigations it's about safety it's about hazards of certain chemicals and stuff um let's talk about um now how the changes in paper pattern are going to affect you because this is something that concerns students a lot now let's see the paper two is not 75 marks anymore so is it a good news or a bad news depends it is 80 marks so not a very good news but yeah i think it is i think it is um so it's not 1.5 hours anymore it is now one hour 45 minutes so so they have given you five extra marks not extra marks they're not giving you they're giving you an opportunity to score five extra marks but the paper is now 15 minutes extra so why why are they giving you 15 minutes for just five marks additional in the paper that is because they are they are largely changing the paper pattern also now there are going to be two main changes number one is in section b you won't have any choice so there are no choice because you know this is this is their perception when when we run a training this is what they said they said okay um having a choice makes it harder for students to pick one question or three questions obviously and like you know skip one question so they spend more time in deciding which question to select um, so it's easier to not have a choice altogether and just you know do whatever the questions are there in the paper and go for them so this is what their perception was um, apart from that they have also said okay um, the, the paper pattern is going to include more logic based or you can say assessment objective number two questions so there are going to be more questions about uh, developing a relationship assessing evaluating uh, there are going to be more questions about suggesting the reasons so it's going to be more reason based paper and that is why they are adding more marks so you can see that the 15 marks are being given uh, sorry the five marks and the 15 minutes extra are being given because the overall pa paper pattern is going to be changing you know so another thing is that paper four is not going to be 60 marks anymore it's going to be 40 marks and you know they have decreased 
20 units of marks but the length of the paper like you mean the the time of the paper is still the same it's still you know one hour so why would they do that why would they give you extra time for less marks because they're going to be including um definitely a planning question which is tricky so people need more time to think about those they're also going to include more reason based questions so you can expect paper four to be also changing on more and more reason based questions logical questions uh, questions which are from suggestions evaluations let's talk about the subject content the first chapter is not called states of matter anymore it's called the kinetic oh, sorry it's not called the kinetic particle theory anymore it's called the states of matter um, you're gonna see more cooling curve questions because cooling curve was not technically a part of the syllabus earlier but now it is a part of the syllabus so you can expect that apart from that they want you to understand the role of pressure and temperature on gases and their volumes which is something you study in physics so it's going to be there as well you know the Boyle's law the Charles law you don't need to know the names of these laws but you need to understand what's the pressure and temperature um, their effect on the volume of the gases if you have watched my previous video you would know that there have been some changes in the questions pattern um, there are questions about how the arrangement and the movement of particles are affected so there are going to be those as well another change is that the whole um, name of the chapter 2 or topic 2 has changed it is called elements uh, atoms elements and compounds um, if you if you have the new book uh, let me show you the new book i have this with me um, this is the new book um, it is the one uh, by earl and wilford if you have had a chance of uh, getting this book go for it because this is the new book you're going to need that um, because this book is exactly based on the new syllabus so i would really recommend you guys doing using this book and not chemistry matters or prescott um, they don't want you using the word macromolecules anymore um, apart from that you know everything else is still the same um, when we talk about um, stoichiometry um, there are some smaller changes for example they they can expect you writing word equations so word equations can be there earlier they would give you the word equation and expect the chemical formula equation but they can expect otherwise now um, when we talk about relative formula mass relative molecular mass this is something they want you to know the definitions of so make sure you know those um, other than that there are no not much changes in the chapters for example in periodic table there are no there are no um, not bigger changes over there uh, isotopes are gonna include uh, the role of abundance and the role of um, the atomic masses to calculate the mass of isotopes it is a it is a question from as it is a topic from as chemistry now they have made it a part of the o level chemistry as well there's a formula i'm writing over here so i'll make a video on that as well so they can expect you to find the percentage of um, isotopes or the mass of isotopes based on this formula we'll talk about it how uh, the mass of isotopes is calculated then what we talk about is um, bonding is pretty much same bonding does not have major changes over there so not not to worry about nothing to worry about from there as well um, when we go further there are some things to keep in mind as well let's see let's see let's see what are any further changes yeah so right now i'm here I, i've highlighted all the changes with the yellow so we were talking about the syllabus changes with my colleagues and and we were able to see how the changes are here um, you can see in stoichiometry they're going to be expecting you the understanding of Avogadro's number so Avogadro's number was not previously a major part of the syllabus but now since uh, since it's written over here so you can expect questions on um, finding the number of atoms finding the number of ions finding the number of molecules this as well uh, in electrolysis everything is uh, everything is same uh, a lot of people are much confused in the electrolysis of the hydrochloric acid this is the only thing that troubles them um, it's not a change in the syllabus but it's it's something that i have noticed people being worried about so i'll make a video on that as well moreover i have noticed that you can see they are gonna add half equations you know construct ionic half equations for anode and cathode so uh, recently there was this question um, out there and a lot of people were confused about it 
because it involved adding or subtracting electrons from the equations and actually those are ionic equations again a topic from the AS level they've introduced over here and now we can you know see more and more questions of perhaps balancing or writing ionic half equations so we're gonna we have to prepare ourselves for you know that as well so hydrogen oxygen fuel cell has been much shrunk you can't be expected to know the construction and the working of the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell you just need to know the basic premise the basic idea that it's used and it creates you know electricity nothing else you need to know about it um, so that's why I'm highlighting it with a blue pen you can see that um, chemical energetics is similar but one thing is really really new over here um, which is finding the change in enthalpy using bond energies it's a concept from the IGCSC so I really appreciate it when they added it because I really find it um, a very interesting topic so so you need to know about the bond energies it's it's a it's a much interesting kind of calculation based topic it's a calculation based it, it involves a lot of mathematics so we're gonna see that it's it's a topic from IGCSE and A level so they have introduced in GCSE as well and we're gonna be seeing how do we you know how we go about it do we have any major changes in other topics as well for example when we go further um, chemical reactions rate kinetics is similar no major changes over here um, for example, um, again, uh, rate of reaction, the graphs are more trickier. We know that it's nothing new for us. Um, apart from that, everything else is similar. Physical and chemical changes they have introduced, so we know about those. Nothing new, just more and more, you know, trickier questions can be expected from this topic. Um, then when we talk about reversible reaction, they have introduced hydration reactions. Hydration, uh, which means anhydrous salts and their reaction with water so they have introduced it here again something that people talk about in a2 chemistry but it's here as an introduction so i can expect um, them talking about it more and more then when we talk then when we go for a reversible reaction they have removed the uh, entirety of the contact process and they have just kept the reversible reaction between so2 and so3 so um, this is only something that you need to keep in mind that the whole process of sulfuric acid contact process is not there anymore they have just kept the main reversible reaction so you need to keep that in mind as well um, redox reaction is pretty much affected by the changes in the syllabus because they are adding oxidation number now those who have followed my channel and watched the videos they would know that the oxidation number is something i already teach but, uh, but it wasn't a requirement of the syllabus so a lot of teachers did not do it but they have added oxidation number and as a compensation they have removed just the idea of hydrogen um, in redox so they have just removed a tiny bit and added a whole giant oxidation numbers so I'm, I'm, I'm really happy they've added it because it's a it's a very conceptual foundation for it so we're going to be talking about redox uh, reactions in terms of oxidation number more there are changes in organic chemistry, there are changes in environmental chemistry, there are changes in other topics, but um, that we are going to be talking about in the next video. So stay tuned, uh, just, just let me know in the comments your thoughts, uh, your questions, things that trouble you, so we are going to be talking more about in the coming videos and I, I'd, I'd love to hear uh, what your opinions are. Thanks.